Thanks, Gary, and thanks, John. Here we go. We got Justin Vandervon, the player of the game right now. And uh, hey, Justin, you used your physicality on the court. You were the biggest guy out here. How'd you do that without committing fouls? You only had one today. Yes, sir. Just keep the space. Uh, we knew their guards were really good. One shooter, one really good driver. So just contest late, drop back, got the job done. There we go. Those last two minutes was kind of nervous. You know, they inch back in this game, but you did a great job, especially on the defensive end, picking up those blocks. How did that feel? It felt good. Yeah, I, I did my job. Um, the young guys stepped up, made their free throws. All the guys really didn't make their free throws, so we got to get better at that. But um, yeah, stepped up, and I stepped it up defensively at the end. There we go, 4 0 in conference play. How's it feel? It feels good, but we got to keep going. We, we know every game is winnable, but every game is also losable. All right, thank you so much, thank Justin. You. I appreciate it. Now we also have Coach McGarvey right here with us, and Coach. You know, I just asked Justin this question, 4-0. Your team's playing with a lot of passion, and it obviously showed on that bench, right, especially the last two minutes. How's that feel? Yeah, it feels great. I think that's the biggest key to what we've turned around here in January for the first two weeks. The team really cares about each other. They're playing connected basketball on both ends of the floor, and they're sharing and supporting each other. They don't care who gets the credit. They're just out there to win. I was just going to say, talk about me about freshman Mark Butler. He was stone cold coming into the stretch and he's a young guy how do you how much do you trust him yeah a whole lot we're asking him to do a lot on both ends of the floor he's guarded Benini in the second half he also made his free throws down the stretch um, but when he's got the ball we feel a little bit more composed the spacing is a little bit better and he's got a great mind for the game he sees the floor really well and he's been very assertive on both ends of the floor yeah real gritty team you got here and especially with Ryan Pettit one guy who had only one field goal he got to the line once too but all of his impact seems like to go unnoticed on a statue. And he was real gritty on that defense, especially on the perimeter. Talk to me about it. Yeah, for sure. He brings passion and energy each and every day. And it's a, it affects all of us, right? So we can all play connected basketball because of his energy that he provides, especially on the defensive end. But then it allows some other players on our team to have really great games offensively. Devin Hines with a bunch of points, played with a ton of confidence. Vanderbon obviously with his points. Uh, Sonberg had 13, you know, so um, I think that that sparks the energy of our team and it gives um, our, our talented guys an opportunity to really play well. Coach, thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's what Lafayette has. And now they take on Holy Cross this Wednesday. Gary and John, back to you with the updates. All right, AJ, thank you very much. Job well done. As it Time to take a look at the highlights, and there's plenty of Lafayette highlights in this one. Here's John. Yeah, Gary, it was a terrific performance. Uh, Mark Butler creating things in the half court. The dribble drive, the kick to Devin Hines. Had a huge game for the Leopards tonight. And then Ryan Pettit with a little drum dump off uh, to Justin Vandenbaum, our co, co player of the game. Again, a nice look. You saw him connected basketball. The pass, at least, of the pass. Justin Vanderbon on the middle. There's Pettit, long dish, uh, long pass up court to Devin Hines. Uh, Benini was tough all night long. I tell you, maybe is going to be there all year long as well. They got off to a cold start, and that really was was part of their demise. They went down by 17 early, but uh, Austin Benini, he is some kind of some kind of player, and uh, they've got they've got the pieces in place, does Navy? But they ran into a. A, a, a very motivated Lafayette team tonight. Justin Vanderbon, Gary, we said it. He was our impact player of the game. When Justin Vanderbon plays well, Lafayette as a team plays well. You got to have that big guy in the middle that can score for you and find open people. And uh, he does it at both ends of the court. He had four or five blocks again. He can step out and make this jump shot, which, which fits nicely into what Mike McGarvey wants to do. Because if you've got a big guy in the center blocking things up, Justin can bring him away from the basket. Uh, on the inside, uh, inside out that time was Summers uh, in the corner knocking down that three. Uh, that was, uh, it kept, it kept Navy alive for a while. They had some good movement of their own. Summers with a little hot streak down the stretch. Uh, this was a shot Gary I thought was a three. That started Navy's comeback. They had it all the way down uh, to five points. And uh, things got a little dicey for the Leopards. There's Draper from up on top in their pressure game. And I, you know, Gary, it isn't always that you win the game. Sometimes it's how you win the game. And uh, Devin Hines with a monster three right here that kind of held Navy off down the stretch in a little kickback. And the way the senior 
uh, Kyle Jenkins, everybody contributed. That was another big shot. When Navy's pressing you and trying to make that comeback and momentum is working against you, it's great to have kids like this time and time again making plays down the stretch. And it wasn't just one player. Everybody contributed. You heard Mike McGarvey talk about it. Lafayette on quite a roll. 57% from the floor for the Leopards. 38% from beyond the arc, 12 for 19 from the foul line, 17 assists, John, your kind of basketball. Well, Gary, you know, the two numbers that are connected there, 57% from the field, 17 assists, that's not an accident. You heard Mike McGarvey use the word connected as opposed to fragmented. When you're connected offensively, everybody, it just, what is it, the sum is greater, what is it? The, the whole is greater than the, the sum, sum of the, of the parts. parts. There you, you go, it. thank you. <laughs> I'll try to figure out what that meant. Uh, Donovan <laughs> Draper had a double-double today, 13 points, 14 rebounds. Benini with 21 points. But what a job uh, done in the second half uh, defensively by Mark Butler on him because he had 17 first-half points. And Mac McDonald with 10. For the Leopards, Vanderbond, 19. 18 for Hines, 13 Sonberg, 15 Mark Butler. Guess who the leading rebounder was? Mark Butler with eight rebounds in the ball game. The Leopards, 4-0 in the Patriot League. Nobody can be better than them as Navy goes to 2-2. Two and two. They will now travel to Holy Cross on Wednesday night. We'll stay right here. We'll have the women for you on Wednesday night. That is a 6 o'clock start. We invite you to join us. And come on back next Saturday when the men will host Bucknell in another big Patriot League matchup. That's it for A.J. Patel, for John Leone. For the Astound Television team, headed up by Chris Zayo, we thank you so much for watching basketball with us this afternoon. For all of us, I'm Gary Laubach. Goodbye, everybody.